best of luck. Over the last few weeks, the papers have been full of sightings of Britain's most poisonous spider, the false widow, and apparently they're on the rise. And just a warning, you're about to see some graphic images of spider bites, and maybe you just might like to be warned that there are spiders coming up as well. If you're a bit squeamish, look away now. Britain is in the grip of a spider scare. Now, you're not going to like this story if you don't like creepy crawlies. And I hear that a poisonous spider has invaded my side of London. The false widow, for example, it's been accused of biting people across the southeast in recent weeks. Sightings of the Stitoda nobilis, or the false widow, are on the rise. In the past few weeks, there have been dozens of reports of bites. Two days ago, one man almost lost his leg after claims he was bitten by the spider. A footballer, reportedly bitten in his sleep, had to have emergency surgery. And just yesterday, a school was shut down after an infestation was discovered there. The false widow is cited as Britain's most venomous spider, and the species is now believed to be spreading northwards across the country. But how much of a threat do they really pose? Well, here to set the record straight is naturalist Mark Amy. And, um, Mark, you saw the some of the footage there as it went through, and you went, oh, it's just ridiculous. Are yeah. we overreacting here? I, I believe so. I mean, it's it's been here for an awful long time. Introduced in the 1870s from the Canaries, is yeah. that right? Yeah, but that's when we were first recorded it, so it was 140-some-odd years ago. Um, so it, it's been here for an awful long time. It's, it's been within our, our homes for an awful long time. It's probably been doing more, calm, uh, more good than harm. It's a great pest control officer to have in your house. Mm. So um, why do we feel like they're on the rise then? They are on the rise is particularly because they, they like a, a, a warmer climate. And of course, we are going through a, a global warming period where they, they, we're not having the severe winters which would knock them for six or kill them. Right, OK. And so how dangerous are they if they bite you? Well, all spiders are venomous, so we've got all to keep... All spiders every, in every British spider, are venomous. Absolutely. So we, we've got to keep it in, in, in quite good context. It's just that this one here seems to affect humans more. So it, it, it is our most dangerous, uh, or most venomous spider that we've got here in the UK. But our most venomous spider in the UK is still harmless. Can, have you got your, uh, your camera there, your little uh, yeah. pen cam? So and we can go, have a little look at it. So, uh, so if you want to... If we, we can go into the... Uh, into the top and poke sure. it up. If it bites you, what's going to happen? Well, different people are going to have different reactions. Um, there we can see that. So different people are going to have different reactions. Um, I've been bitten um, by one of these. Um, not on purpose, it's just because I tried to capture it by using my fingers instead of capturing it the responsible way of using a glass and a piece of card. Yeah. And it, it thought it was going to be hurt. So because it thought it was going to be hurt, it, it bit in, in retaliation yeah. to, to say, you know, don't hurt me. I, uh, I'm allergic to bee stings and spider... Uh, to, uh, spider irritant to hairs. That's why I can't touch that, that tarantula. I'm not scared of spiders, but I can't touch the tarantula there because my hands swell up. Um, uh, we, they, we've got my EpiPen, which I brought in, which is in the gallery at the mm -hmm. moment, sit by the side of the producer. If I got bitten by one of these, I assume, assume because I'm allergic, then I would, I'd be in trouble. If somebody like yourself got bitten by any spider or anything, any venomous invertebrate, um, you would certainly be, be heading towards hospital mm. because you, have, uh, you can have an anaphylactic reaction. Well, I understand that reaction, uh, anaphylactic shock, but what about the pictures that we see of people with great big cuts down their legs because they had to drain them of venom? Well, I don't believe they were draining them of venom because the venom is such a minuscule um, um, po uh, molecule part of, of, of what it is. It's such a small amount. I mean, this thing can't deliver a huge yield of venom. So you can't drain the venom out. What you're doing is you're stopping the muscles from destroying themselves by overswelling. And they do this in venomous snake bites an awful lot. So if the, if the venom... You could have the anti-venom and be clear, but to stop the muscles from being destroyed, you would make incisions so that the muscles have somewhere to swell to until the swelling s subsides, and then they'll come back together But what again. you're saying, for the majority of us, the chances are that these probably are in your house already. Oh, yeah. And that actually don't worry about it because well, they're not gonna I mean I read somewhere yesterday that they chase you they actively hunt you out <laughs> to bite you and that's not true is no, it? No I mean spiders particularly like things like the house spiders you know these these are um, two 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 house spiders you've got you've got um, Tigenia delicia which is the giant house spider and the normal house spider. Yeah I don't like and that big one. These are the ones that you generally find in the Why bath. Is that always let's go, in my bath. Let's go in the top here. Yeah. Oh, Why are they in the bath? I'm the one that's allergic to them. What are you worried about? Right, okay. So what's that one? That's a house spider. 
Okay, so there's the house it's spiders like... on something. And it's it. really interesting why they're in the bath because a lot of people think they come up the drains and things like that. They're always they, in the they, bath. They don't. What they do is they, they travel up the side of the wall of the outside of your house and you have the overflow part of your bath mm. which goes outside. Oh, I see. And what they do is they climb up. Oh, here's a nice little tunnel. Up the pipe. I'll go in, I'll go in there fall into the bath through the overflow and then they can't get out. You said something really nice and you said um, actually mosquitoes are the deadliest in, yeah, to, to, to in man, the world. To mankind, yeah, mosquitoes are probably the most dangerous invertebrate that we know of. But the reason and they're actually, not making big news here though is that's, that's where they carry malaria and they don't carry malaria in this country. No, they, they don't. But I mean, uh, most people who have been bitten by a horsefly this year have had some really severe reactions to those. What and about, actually, these uh, what about those that, the, the one here that you think is getting a lot of the blame? This is getting an awful lot of the blame. And this is, um, again, another false widow spider. Um, How but do you this... tell the difference then between that and the one that you showed us earlier on? Well, the one that we showed you is, is a noble. It's got a noble marking, so it's on actually its back. got. Yeah. That's why it's nobilis. Nobilis, yes. So right. this, one, this one doesn't have the markings on it. This one on doesn't back. have the markings on it, but this is the one that's getting all of the. Um, the blame. Yeah. Uh, and this is just our, what we call a cellar spider. I mean, these are all cobweb spiders or comb leg spiders. They're, the, they're, they're found everywhere. And this has been in Britain for, forever. Let's, uh, let's take a, a couple of uh, questions from the hub. Stephen, what you got? Thanks, Phil. Uh, Damon says, I live in Middlesbrough and found this above my back door in my house. Um, is it a false widow? Is it, Mark? It very much looks like it. OK, well, there you go. You heard it from the man himself, Cara. I was bitten by an unidentified spider whilst visiting Chester, and it left two visible pincer incisions. Should she be worried? Uh, there's no real reason to be worried. I mean, I, I would certainly, because you have a reaction, I would certainly go and, and seek medical advice. You may need some antihistamines, and you may need some follow-up, because if he's punctured the skin, you could get an infection. OK. So, thank you very much indeed, Stephen. Just finally, but, but in our last few seconds together, um, we talked whether or not we were being a little bit paranoid here. Um, do you, do you, is it just because we're talking about this? Uh, should we be worried? I have no fear of anything that lives in Britain that, that is an invertebrate. There is nothing in Britain that can cause me any real severe harm whatsoever. So just occasionally, if you're allergic to something, then you're the one that's going to make the news. And to be fair, if you've been bitten, the good thing is, is that there, I was looking at the Natural History Museum and the two different spiders have two different reactions to the bites. If you get bitten by this one, it's painful. You yeah. feel it. If you get bitten by this one, you don't feel it. But um, which is the one that you don't feel? The false the, 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 actual, the actual nobilis. The yeah. nobilis doesn't give you a, a painful bite. Wow. It just gives you a bad reaction. Fascinating. Thank you, Thank Thank you, very, you very much indeed. Much. Make there sure you, you take them home with you. I will. <laughs> Good. Still to come, we've got...